Hi friends, my name is Ansha and I'm an educator of an academy and you can follow me on our website www.academy.com or you can download the academy learning app. So uh, in this lesson we are going to discuss message authentication code MAC. So if you like my lesson please rate, recommend and review and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hi, so uh, in this lesson we are going to study message authentication code. Okay. So first, what is authentication? Authentication is one of the five principles of security. So we learned the five principles of security. So uh, authentication is one of that. So uh, verifying the authenticity of message is very important, isn't it? It's very important to authenticate the message, authenticate the authenticating the message, authenticating the center and all. So there must be an authenticator to authenticate the message. So for authentication, we need an authenticator. Okay. So there are uh, three functions to produce an authenticator okay so um, first method is encryption which we all know we learned encryption and decryption in detail and uh, if you encrypt so if I am uh, sending you a message so I am encrypting that with a key and uh, only you will be knowing that key so uh, you only you can decrypt that message so uh, you can be sure of the contents of the message and uh, you can be sure of the center also okay so that is one method of authentication encryption and the next method is message authentication code MAC and the next method is hash functions okay so these are the two types of function which we are, which we are going to study in detail so in this lesson we are going to study message authentication code okay so what is message authentication code so uh, here we are using a secret key to generate small fixed size block of data known as the cryptographic checksum or MAC so this MAC message authentication code is also called as cryptographic checksum so what are we doing we'll be using a secret key to generate a small fixed size block of data now this data is uh, or uh, checksum or MAC this will be appended with the message and then only the message will be sent now the communicating parties will be sharing a common secret key so that key is used to create this MAC okay yeah so uh, first method so uh, this is how it works okay so first we'll be having a message and there will be a MAC function okay so there will be a MAC function uh, with us uh, with the center as well as the receiver okay so we have our mac function c and we have our message okay now we'll take this message and we'll take the key that is we learned that there will be a shared common secret key isn't it so that key will be used so this key and message is input to the mac function c and then there will be an output isn't it now there will be this output the output will be what output will be the cryptographic checksum or mac okay so as we learned here we are using a secret key to generate small fixed size block of data called checksum or MAC now we used the key and message applied on the MAC function and we got our MAC okay now we'll take this message and MAC together and append it now this is the sign for attaching okay now message plus MAC we'll get what message plus MAC okay now this message will be sent to the receiver so this message plus mac will be sent to the receiver now at the receiver side now this is at the receiver side at the receiver side also there will be this mac function and the key so uh, the receiver will take the message only the message and he'll take the key and input it to the mac function okay now the mac function will give us an output so there will be an output and that output will be again the MAC isn't it that is we are only taking the message not MAC only we are separating this message and MAC and then we take the message only and we'll take the key and apply to the same MAC function we are using the same MAC function and same key okay then we'll see what is the output so there will be a MAC output so we'll take this separated MAC and this output and compare it so if it is equal we can we can say the message is uh, authentic that means here also the mac is same that is here the mac and the mac which we received is same which means the message is not 
modified isn't it so that is one method but this method can only be used for authentication now see if a third party comes here that is this this is sender side and this is receiver side so after this attachment will get message and mac and will send it to the receiver now if a third party comes in between that is in in the this uh, communicating channel he can get the message he can see the message so there is no security there is no privacy so uh, this method is only used for authentication okay now we can only authenticate using this method now let us see how to pro uh, get uh, authentication plus confidentiality okay so we have two methods for getting authentication and confidentiality together so first method is authentication tied to plain text so we'll see what is it so here also we'll be having the message and mac function c so we'll take the message and we'll take the key and input it to the mac function so in this method we'll be using two keys so we'll take key one and message and input it to the mac function c now we'll get an output now what will be the output it will be a mac that is it will be a message authentication code okay now we'll take this code plus this message and attach it okay now this code will be appended with the message that's why we are saying authentication tied to plain text now this code is tied to plain text isn't it now that is why we call it so so we'll attach it together so we'll get what message plus mac okay here we'll get message plus mac now this thing will be encrypted so there will be an encryption algorithm and we'll use another key key 2 and apply it to the encryption algorithm so here what will be the output here appended message and mac appended okay that will be encrypted and using another key key 2 okay now what will be the output it will be the cipher in this cipher there will be uh, our uh, message authentication code as well as the message so it will be uh, we don't know what a uh, kind of encryption algorithm we are using so we can't say that it will be like message plus mac we can't easily separate it okay so uh, in this cipher there will be this code and there will be the message encrypted okay so uh, here the mac code is actually appended with what the plain message so that is why we call it authentication tied to plain text okay now then we encrypt it using another key and we'll get the cipher so this is what happens in the center side okay next we'll pass the cipher to the receiver now at the receiver side he'll be having decryption algorithm and the same key key 2 okay so he'll get this uh, he'll take this cipher and key and apply it to the decryption algorithm and the output will be what output will be message plus mac isn't it this message plus mac will be there next the receiver will take a uh, receiver will be having mac function c the same function and he'll have the key okay so he'll take key one and message just the message not mac he'll separate it so uh, he'll just take the message and apply the key on the mac function and he'll get an output which will be a message authentication code again it will be a mac then he'll take the separated mac from here and he'll take the produced output from here and he'll compare the values so if it is equal let's say the message is authentic and if it is not equal uh, you can say the message is not authentic okay so that is uh, one method for authentication and confidentiality so if a third party comes here he, he won't understand what that message means so there is confidentiality and there is authentication okay so this is one method for authentication and confidentiality so first we'll have the message mac function so and key so we'll take message and key in apply to the mac function we'll get a mac so we'll append this with the message and then encrypt it using another key and then we'll get a cipher we'll pass to the receiver side then receiver side will be having decryption algorithm and the same key and after decrypting he'll get message appended with mac now he'll take the message alone and key one apply to the mac function he'll get an output then he'll take the mac only mac and compare it with this output okay now if it is equal the message is authentic and if it is not equal message is not authentic okay now next method now this method is again for ensuring both authentication and confidentiality but the change is that authentication is tied to ciphertext so in this method authentication was tied to what plain text isn't it this mac is appended to plain text message but here it is tied to ciphertext okay 
So first we'll have a message and there will be encryption algorithm and a key. So we'll apply message and key in the encryption algorithm and we'll get an output. So this output plus another key is applied to the MAC function and then also we'll get another output which will be a MAC that is a message authentication code. Now this encrypted message that is this message is encrypted that is the corresponding cipher will be here. Now this MAC function will be producing this output and this is appended with the encrypted message that is the cipher okay that is why we say authentication is tied to cipher text so this mac is applied to cipher text okay now we'll get what cipher plus encrypted mac not encrypted mac this uh, encrypted message is applied to the mac function so this mac is applied to the cipher sorry at attached to the cipher and then we'll get what cipher plus mac now that is the center side, so that's why we say authentication is tied to cipher text. Okay, Mac is uh, attached to the cipher text, so this is the center side. Now at the receiver side, he'll be having decryption algorithm. He'll have the key, so he'll apply key and this into the decryption algorithm and he'll get the message as the output. Now, he'll also be having the Mac function and key too, so he'll take cipher from here and apply to the MAC function along with the key and he'll get an output so and and this uh, output plus this MAC separated MAC will be applied to the compare function so if it is equal message is authentic and if it is not equal message is not authentic so uh, how is confidentiality ensured here see here cipher is passed to the receiver so if a third party comes he'll get the cipher only so he'll not understand so that's how confidentiality is achieved so here message is encrypted and attached to the mac then we'll get what cipher plus mac and now at the receiver side he can decrypt this message to get the original message so that's how confidentiality is achieved now what about authentication here the encrypted message, this encrypted message is applied to MAC function plus key. That means encrypted message means what? Cipher. So that's why we are taking this cipher and key and apply to the MAC function. Here it was key and he, sorry, here it was cipher. Again, we are taking cipher to get the message authentication code okay now then we can separate this and uh, take this plus the output of this function and check it okay so that is uh, how we achieve authentication okay so that is message authentication code so these are the methods to achieve authentication alone authentication and confidentiality using two methods authentication tied to plain text and authentication tied to cipher text okay so in the next lesson we'll study hash functions okay thank you